Hi, it's uh, Kevin Levates here at uh, 11 p.m. on a fine Finnish evening, uh, standing by a lake, and I thought what better time than to talk a bit about smart contracts and blockchain, and in particular using an example of an annuity in order to illustrate uh, how a uh, smart contract could actually do something useful. So uh, I mentioned this in a previous video that annuities might be something that uh, could be put on a blockchain. Now there is one problem you need to solve, which is uh, reliable identification on the blockchain, and in particular a uh, reliable way of recording that the person claiming the annuity is no longer alive. But if you imagine that that could be solved, then having a smart contract to handle annuities is actually uh, not too hard a problem to solve. Basically, you allow people to buy annuities from the smart contract by um, paying cryptocurrency into it, a lump sum, and in return uh, they're guaranteed to be able to withdraw a specific amount every month for uh, the rest of their life uh, automatically, provided they go online once a month and uh, key in uh, a signature to show that they're entitled to continue to do so. And uh, the way that that would work is that uh, the funds in the smart contract would build up as people buy more and more annuities, so that gives you the cryptocurrency backing in order to continue payments. And basically, it's the usual thing with annuities, you're um, taking out insurance against living a long, long time. So if a lot of people are buying these contracts, then some people unfortunately will meet their demise early and their funds will then go to pay the annuities of people who happen to be very lucky and live a long, long time. And uh, if the contract is set up correctly and uh, can take into account the uh, statistics of uh, longevity, then the whole thing should basically be able to run itself. And that's the whole idea of smart contracts. A program on the blockchain that uh, basically interprets when it should release funds and uh, when it shouldn't, and uh, that effectively gathers the funds together in order to build a pool and able to, uh, in order to be able to uh, satisfy the contract requirements. Now, of course, there are a whole bunch of ed edge cases that need to be examined, and uh, there are a whole bunch of issues with regard to what happens if the uh, contract runs out of money because people live a lot longer than is expected. So uh, then you get to the uh, a situation where you maybe need to have an oracle that can feed in expectations about how uh, you know, human uh, longevity is changing over time. But uh, I think it's an interesting theoretical case and uh, should certainly be a good one to illustrate where smart contracts might actually make sense. And uh, in this particular case it's uh, a very clear-cut uh, basic situation. Um, to summarize again, uh, everybody uh, feeds significant amounts of cryptocurrency into the contract and then the contract pays it back slowly over time um, provided you sign on at a regular uh, rate. So uh, I guess it could also be used for example for unemployment insurance or uh, other kinds of insurance like that. Um, the big problem to solve of course is that if you need some kind of external validation that the event that triggers the um, uh, the payout has actually happened. And that's where annuities work nicely because provided the person is reliably signing on, then they're alive and therefore they're entitled to their payment. Anyway, um, I hope that gave you a little bit of an insight into what smart contracts could actually be useful for and uh, see you in the next video soon. Bye for now.